Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have a book bundle of interest to game developers. It's been a while since we've had a book bundle on Humble, and this one's actually really kind of interesting, because there's a lot of books here on game design. So this came out yesterday, I spent the night looking at some of the books in this collection to give you a good idea of what exactly you're getting here, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So this is a bunch of books from Pearson Press. Now what I've done is I've gone through a bunch of them and checked out to see if the person behind them has done previous work in the game industry, you know, so if you're getting a book on game design, you want someone who has experience. When it comes to a technical book, as long as the person knows what they're doing, you're good to go. But when it comes to something like game design, you're really going to want to know that this person has a history in the industry. And from what I found, pretty much in every book in this bundle, that has been the case. First, we're going to do a quick run through the bundle itself. Then we'll move into some of the individual books. I'll show you what you get in this bundle, etc. If you don't know how this works, Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff, in this case, ebooks, organized around the theme, in this case, game development, specifically design and programming. It's organized into a variety of tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do, and thank you so much if you do, to help support Game From Scratch. And the cool thing here is the $1 tier is legit useful. This is one of the books I'll check out in just a bit, uh, but it is Game Programming in C++. And this one is actually kind of nice because it, it's fairly low level. I think at the one level it used like SDL uh, and then it used, um, I believe, OpenGL for the 3D stuff. So if you want to learn more like the fundamental side of things using C++, this could be an interesting pickup. Now, there's not a lot of real hands-on technical programming style books in this bundle. So this one sort of stands out. So it's nice that it's in its own tier. If you're only in this for the coding side of things, it could be a good pickup for one buck. And then we've got Introduction to Game Design. Uh, we move to the median tier here. You're getting uh, Learning Blender, uh, a game design vocabulary, advanced game design, uh, players making decisions, game design essentials, and the art of understanding your players, multiplayer game programming. So we do have another technical book here. Uh, Writing interactive music for video games. This is literally about doing um, music that responds to the, what the player does, things like what you would expect with FMOD. And not an area that you get covered very often, so that's kind of neat to see. Uh, and then augmented reality and practical augmented reality. Uh, and then the Unreal Engine VR cookbook fill out the middle tier. And then we go to the full fat tier. This one seems somewhat out of place, but to be honest, I'm actually kind of thinking about trying out Roblox. So this is a useful one to have for me. Uh, but if you're interested in Roblox development, there is Roblox de game development in 24 hours, the official Roblox guide. Uh, introduction to game design, prototype and development. Fundamentals of game design. Uh, teach yourself Unity game development in 24 hours. This one, again, really kind of stands out uh, among all the others as why is this here? Uh, game design and play, a detailed approach to iterative game design. Uh, game programming algorithms and techniques. Uh, this is another one that I checked out. One thing to be aware of, I was wondering what um, coding language it uses. And the key thing here is it's a platform agnostic approach. So it's actually using all pseudocodes. But having this, this is actually kind of nice because it, it's algorithms and techniques are just generally something is quite useful, but you also don't expect to have a copy and paste code to come out of that. And then we get digital visual effects and compositing, uh, a little bit odd uh, to fit into this bundle, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, then we get 3D user interfaces, theory and practice, and then agile game development. And yeah, so another thing that you may be wondering, what version is this one for Learning Blender? It's 2.8 plus. So it's new new user interface in EV, but it's not the newest, newest version of Blender that you're covered. But from when I look through it, it does look like um, it would be a reasonably current copy of Blender as well. Now in terms of what do you get here? Well, you get all of these as redemptions on the Humble Store. Uh, so you're getting uh, PDF formats for each one of these things and just PDFs. So if you're here for Mobi or Mobi or whatever you'd call it or EPUB, uh, basically, you're out of luck. This is just for PDF. But truth of the matter is, the kind of documents, uh, you want them generally to be PDF when because there's a lot of diagrams in them and so on. And I find that those other formats just don't do um, programming books that well. So we'll do a quick look at the uh, C++ book here. You get an idea of the download speeds here as we pull things down. Uh, so let's go check out... Um, Fundamental of game design. So I was just going to show you like table of contents type things so you get an idea of what you're dealing with. Uh, we'll do advanced game design because game design does definitely seem to be the theme here. I uh, grabbed C++ already. Um, I'll grab that algorithms book as well. And then we'll quickly pull up that blunder one. So you see here, they come down basically instantly, which is kind of cool. Also, the nice thing with Humble is you can download them as many times as you want. So you can basically use Humble as a library, download the books on demand as you need them. Uh, here we are with the downloaded books. I'm going to start things off with that C++ book because it's sort of the, um, first off, it's the $1 tier. And second off, it's uh, 
Uh, it's interesting to me, to be honest. So the author himself has worked in the industry. He's a teacher now, uh, but he worked for Electric on, Electronic Arts, Neversoft, and so on, like games such as Medal of Honor, Tony Hawk Project 8, The Saboteur, etc. So he definitely has experience. He also wrote the multiplayer game programming book, which is in this bundle as well, and co-authored one of the other books in this bundle too. So uh, it gives you an idea of the kind of um, capabilities of the author in this capacity. Let's head on down here, take a look at the table of contents. I like this book because it kind of covers a little bit of everything. So we go from the very beginning. Um, actually, this doesn't really show you all. So kind of introduction, game loop, that kind of stuff. And then we move on to game object sprites. Uh, and then we get into the basics of vectors and physics. And then we get into artificial intelligence, state machines, pathfinding, um, game trees, and so on. Then we move into 3D. It's OpenGL. But to be honest, even if you're going to learn Vulkan these days, you're going to want a good grounding in OpenGL. So the basics are going to be here as well. It's usually how to transform things in 3D space, how to use the lighting and texturing model from a fixed pipeline back in the OpenGL days. And then you get into like an abstraction layer on top of that, doing things like creating a 3D actor, transforming in space, um, how to handle Euler angles and so on, Euler angles, I always say that one wrong, uh, loading 3D models, drawing 3D models, and then we get into like audio handling, input systems, camera handling, collision detection, user interface. So this is a lot lower level, like a lot of the books you're going to find out there these days are for things like just using a game engine. So if you wanted something a little bit below that, the C++ book might be a really interesting pickup in that regard. Guard. Now, other interesting books here, let's see a couple of the other ones I downloaded. We have the Blender book. Uh, I mentioned this one earlier on. Uh, the book itself uses Blender 2.83, I think, uh, which is going to be the user interface is going to be up to date. Uh, and so for the most part, you're going to find it useful. And the nice thing I like about this book is it kind of covers things pretty comprehensively. Uh, so you get um, modeling, character modeling, animating, UV unwrapping, painting, shading, uh, rendering, lighting, and so on. And, and you can see like the level of depth th these things go into. So if you just kind of were wondering like how the various different tools work, they've broken down modeling tools. So all of the various different tools that are available here are broken down for you. So if you ever just kind of needed a general introduction to Blender book, could be a good pickup for you, even though obviously it is a little bit out of date version wise. But the biggest difference you're going to find between Blender 3.1 and then the late 2. Point, like So 2.8 was where the UI was completely redone and EV was added in. It's just since then we've had things like geometry nodes and sculpting. You're not going to get anything for those two things. But other than that, the basics of what you're going to cover here should still be relevant for the, the most current version of of Blender. Now here we are with that algorithms book. Once again, same author as the C++ book. Now this one's interesting. Again, it's platform agnostic. So these algorithms that we go through, all the things that are covered in this book, uh, so things like scripting languages, network games, uh, algorithms in a side scroller tower defense game uh, user interface handling artificial intelligence various different things like pathfinding uh, state-based behavior etc all of your code examples I'm gonna show you right here they're using like a pseudo code like this it's kind of like um, if C++ and Python had a baby so this is more about the algorithms themselves than actual copy and paste kind of codes but there's a lot of things here like you know making a tile map game how this functionality actually works how isometric tile maps work etc it's covering the the, the core concepts. Again, here we got linear algebra. It's, it's uh, useful stuff for anybody at the technical level. Uh, then next up we have, let's go to the advanced game design book. Get an idea of what kind of stuff you're dealing with here. So for advanced game design, uh, first off, just go check out what Michael Sellers has done or Mike Sellers. So what have we got here? So uh, foundation of systems, defining systems, foundations of games and game design, interactivity and fun, working as a systemic game designer, designing the whole experience, creating game loops, creating game parts, game balance methods, game balance practice, working as a team, and so on. So that's the high level stuff. You get into more detail of what all these various different things would be, but it gives you an idea of what they mean when they're talking about game uh, design in general. So he's worked in the MMO space. He works on some pretty seriously uh, important games in the MMO space, including Meridian 59, which is basically the first 3D MMO ever made. Lead designer on The Sims 2 Ultima Online uh, and the Realm of the Mad God. So this guy definitely has the chops. So like, again, I don't normally go too much into the author details because like for a technical book, you could do a book on C++ game programming and not really be a game programmer because you technically know your stuff. And it's a technical book about doing technical things. But when it comes to things like game design, and maybe algorithms to a lesser degree, but definitely game design. If you don't know what you're doing but from history, I, I don't know why you're writing a book on game design. So the good thing here is the majority of these books have been written by people that know exactly what they're doing. So here we go into the fundamentals. This is more of an introductory level book, um, but same kind of thing. Uh, 
So very basic, like what is a game onto uh, designing games, the anatomy of what a game designer does, breaking down genres, understanding your players, understanding different machines that are available. So this is more of a higher level things. Um, so again, this was an introductory level book and there's a nice gamut of books in this actual collection. Uh, so if you're looking for something specific, uh, you could you probably find what you need in one of these books here. So we cover some from just straight out overview stuff to more technical hands-on things. So yeah, that is uh, the other game design book we're featuring here. And I think that was it for the hands-on features, C++, advanced game, algorithms, learning blender. Yep. So that's, that's what I intended to show you. Uh, so yeah, that is more or less the bundle, ladies and gentlemen. It's an interesting one. Uh, you don't get game design books all that often. So game design and programming book bundle, let me know what you think. Uh, again, there's a couple of things here that are a little out of place, like this Roblox book and this Unity book here. Uh, but other than that, it's a very interesting. You're not going to find too many books on agile game development, like for example, or just in game design in general, uh, multiplayer game programming, interactive music. I don't really care too much about these three personally, but you may. And once again, the $1 tier has introduction to game design systems, uh, games, game system design, I mean, sorry, and uh, the C++ book in it as well. So one of the nicest $1 tiers I've seen in quite a while. So yeah, neat little bundle. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.